in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to Jesus, honor to Mary and Joseph. My dear friends in Christ, we are welcome to this day, the 27th day in our journey, spiritual journey with our suffering Messiah. We cannot thank God enough for the grace, for his spiritual strength he has given us all this while. It cannot but be God alone. Continue to strive. Remember that there is always light at the end of the tunnel. In fact, sometimes you experience light even inside the tunnel. Always remember that after battle, there must be a banquet. The topic of today's uh, reflection is letting go of attachments that hinder our relationship with God. This is based on the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 16 from verse 24 to 26. Reflecting on this Matthew chapter 16 parable, Jesus emphasizes the essence of self-denial, taking up one's cross and following him. This passage conveys a profound message about surrendering personal desires to align with God's will and serving others. Jesus challenges us, his present disciples, to prioritize spiritual values over worldly gains, highlighting the importance of sacrificing one's life for a greater purpose. The call to follow Jesus involves a radical commitment to honor God. Hear me again. This involves a radical commitment to honor God and redeem others. Look at those whom God used in a very spectacular way, in a very wonderful way. There was radical commitments they showed. Abraham, Moses, Joshua, David, then in the uh, among the major and minor prophets, Elijah, Elisha, uh, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Ezekiel, even Amos, Hosea. There were radical commitments that they showed, that they exercised to honor God and redeem others. Emphasizing that true life is found in giving up one's life for something greater. The concept of self-denial in this passage goes beyond mere renunciation of worldly pleasures. It involves a complete surrender of self to God's standards. Jesus illustrates that pursuing personal desires at the expense of spiritual growth leads to loss or condemnation, punishment, um, whatever you can think of it. Why sacrificing for Christ's sake results in finding true love? Also, when you check those people whose praises were sung in scriptures, they sacrificed for the sake of God and later on, they found true life in God. The imagery of taking up one's cross symbolizes embracing hardships and persecution for the sake of following Christ. Echoing the profound sacrifice and commitment required in discipleship, ultimately, this Matthew chapter 16 verses 24 to 26 Pericope underscores the transformative power of self-denial, emphasizing the eternal value of prioritizing spiritual growth and service over worldly purses. Jesus' teachings 
challenge us, the present believers, to reorient our lives towards God's will. Demonstrating that true fulfillment is found in sacrificially living for Him, our Lord Jesus Christ, and for others. Applying this Matthew parable in our daily lives, it means that denying ourselves that we have to set aside personal desires and ambitions to prioritize God's will and the needs of others. It involves surrendering control and allowing God to guide our decisions and actions. Secondly, taking up our cross, this symbolizes embracing hardships and suffering for the sake of following Christ. It requires a willingness to endure difficulties and persecution for the sake of our faith. Do you normally, when you face difficulties, persecutions, you continue to blame God? Why is God allowing you to go through this? Child of God, as our brother Paul would tell us, consider yourself being privileged enough of partaking in the sufferings of Christ. It is a privilege. Therefore, do not be despondent, please. Do not be dispirited. Number three, following Jesus. This involves actively seeking to live according to Jesus' teachings and examples, striving to obey his commands and emulate his love and compassion. Fourthly, losing our lives for his sake. This means sacrificing our own interests and desires to serve others and advance God's kingdom. It involves putting the needs of others before our own and seeking to make a positive impact on the world around us. The last but not the least, focus on eternal perspective. This Martian parable reminds us that worldly success and possessions are temporary and ultimately meaningless. Instead, we should focus on the eternal value of our actions and strive to live in a way that honors God and brings glory to His name. My dear friends in Christ, by applying these principles in our daily lives, we can grow in our relationship with God and become more like Jesus, ultimately finding true fulfillment and purpose in our lives. There are practical uh, examples with regard to some of the attachments that we have that take our minds, our hearts off from God, which we have to let go in this period of Lent to help us in other uh, churches period. There are friends that we have to let go of. There are some associations we have to let go of. Anything at all that takes our minds off from God, we have to let go of them. Any person at all, no matter whom that person is, that replaces God in your life, child of God, you have to let go of that person. Some people now concentrate so much uh, waste kind of just, just let me call it waste waste their time in one electronic gadget or the other maybe in 24 hours of the day you see them paying attention to this electronic gadget not less than 18 to 19 hours and we continue to ask are these actually there to help us or to hinder our relationship with God, to hinder our progress in life? This is a question you have to ask yourself. That particular gadget you have, call it tablet, phone, television, uh, laptop, anything at all that is an electronic gadget, is it taking away your time? Is it hindering your relationship with your God? 
if you give yourself a positive answer please act accordingly may the lord help you as you do this in the name of jesus christ then some also social media social media instagram facebook uh, twitter or x as as it is called now whatsapp and other uh, social media uh, platforms some or many people now can pay serious attention to those things many people can stay in social media but cannot even spend 10 minutes in praying to god remember anything that takes your time even the time that you have to allot to god that thing is your destiny destroyer do not allow this to destroy you my dear people of god may the lord give you the grace to overcome all these attachments that take our minds out from god in the name of jesus christ there are negative consequences of these attachments number one dependency over reliance on attachments can lead to dependency issues making it difficult to function independently it is very clear to vulnerability strong attachments can make individuals vulnerable to pain and distress if the attachment is threatened or lost through conflict attachments can sometimes lead to conflicts especially if there are differences in needs expectations or communication styles stagnation in some cases attachment can hinder personal growth and development if they become too restrictive or stagnant therefore my dear friends in christ let us try as much as possible to ask the lord our suffering messiah this period to help us to overcome these spirits uh, that make us to be attached to all these things that do not contribute anything to our relationship with god and may he give us the strength and grace to let go of them and i pray that the holy spirit help us this period to let go of these attachments through different means in any form from any direction through any agency in order to focus on god and have a more fortified solidified relationship with our god we ask this through christ our lord the lord be with you and may the mighty god bless you and keep you father son and the holy spirit amen peace be with you